Have you seen all the Tom Cruise videos where it sounds like he's had a stroke, but he's on like an airplane? He's like, hey, everybody, just going to tell you about our movie. I'm flying over here with McHugh. We're 5,000 feet above. Have you seen those? Like everything I, I cool haven't. about what's happening because he's on an airplane talking to you and he's hanging out of an airplane is, is overshadowing Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Okay. It's all very cool, but it's all overshadowed by okay. the fact that he sounds like this. Way that first Mission Impossible trailer for the latest movie that came Sucks. out was so bad. I thought it was a fan made trailer for. I was excited because I was like, oh, cool, there's a new movie, new Mission Impossible. Oh wait, this is a fan made. Uh, it really sucks. And then it's like, wait a minute, this you're is like, new what's footage. Going on? Yeah. And you're like, oh my god. So if they're gonna make a trailer this shitty, watch that video. Pull up that video of Tom Cruise, where he's uh, he's on the airplane, and he's talking. Yeah, and he I'm, sounds like he's had I'm a stroke. I look huge. Is that what I, is this? God bless. I, I was gonna wake up early and go to the gym. Didn't happen. I watched this commercial the other day for one of those uh, Chuck Norris machines. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but okay. I just all I just watched the I just watched it. You know, I just watched the commercial and I started sweating. Good for you. I said I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm not going to watch this stuff anymore. Hmm. I don't need that in my life. What other? Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, this is the most hard pivot of all time. Welcome to Wrexham. Oh, I love that show. Hold on, I found the thing. We pivoted. Okay. It's okay. He found well, the thing. Well, and I no, no, it's What's fine. What's the thing? No, Show he needs to see it. What's the thing? Okay. Is the fact that he sounds like a stroke victim overshadow the coolness of what he's doing? Question. Is he playing a stroke victim character? No. You no, know, it's just piece of people. Everyone! Here we are over stunning South Africa. And we're filming Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning <laughs> Part 1 and 2. <laughs> I didn't want the year to end without thanking you all for coming out to the theater. And thank you for supporting Top Gun Maverick. Hey, hey Kevin, Chris McCoy, Spider Director. Hey, thank you. Hey, uh, listen, we really got a room. We got to get this shot. Oh, yeah, we're filming. We got to get this shot. All right, are you coming? Not on your life. Good luck. Okay, we'll see you down there. Whoa. Where was I? Oh yeah, thank you for supporting Top Gun Maverick. And always thank you for allowing us to entertain you. It truly is the honor of a lifetime. Yeah. He's insane. Very lucky. I'm really out of altitude. So, I better get back to work. We gotta get this shot. You have a very safe and happy holiday. We'll see you at the movies. He's so badass, dude. I hate it. Look how cool he is. December 22nd, the biggest movie of the year arrives on Paramount. <laughs> but do you see what I mean? But is Go that, to the other one on is, the biplane. Is type that in, him? Type in or is that just the audio is so bad? Type in time. Well, type, type I in, thought the audio is bad, but then when he says thanks for letting us entertain you, he's definitely like having trouble making the words. Go to type. Go to well, top. He's uh, flying in the air. Type in Tom Cruise biplane. And we probably need to turn it down before we get news noise from the, from the neighbor. Oh, they're they're make it, it's too much noise. Fuck it on this one. Okay. Because it's. Okay. I. Nope. Tom. That. That's the one. Maybe it is that one. So I too thought that it was just audio glitch. As you can see, we are building the latest installment of Mission Impossible. And right now we're over. Stunning South Africa. Huh? And we're making this film for the big screen. Does he have a parachute on? No. I don't want to get older. I don't know why it has that song. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not very fun. But yeah, no, he just, he talks the whole time. The photo. He just talks the whole time, and he's, then the plane does a barrel roll while he's that's, hanging on it. That's, uh, man, good for him. 
Good for Tom, Tommy boy. Do you think we get a, I hope this never happens, but do you think he's the one, if it's going to happen, where it's like, well, tragedy strikes the Mission Impossible 9 set today. Alec Baldwin shoots him. Alec Baldwin <laughs> shoots him for no reason. Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened or who was involved. All just to say that I know I had nothing. I was not responsible. <laughs> Do you see that? I think. What is? I think we're. Mo- he's more likely to get shot. To come to his senses and try to leave Scientology, and the Scientologist off him. Because I don't see a movie production, a billion dollar production, ever allowing him to be put in a situation where he's not capable of staying safe. Now, I know they ride that fence pretty hard. Like he's, they, you know, skydiving on his own, but he's gotten countless hours of skydiving. He flew the, 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 the plane at the end of Maverick. That's his own plane. I don't know if you knew that. Like that's his personal plane. And, you know, he flew, he flew, flew uh, Conley around. So, but again, though, he's got a lot of training to that. I would throw Would up, there be accidents? Like- yeah, there's always possibility of accidents. Kobe, I'm sure the pilot of that helicopter was very experienced, but you know, crap yeah, the happens. The circumstances under that are particularly no, odd. they're not. Fuck. You think the Clintons had anything to do with that one? No, no. You sure? Follow the money, man. Follow the money. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. 